Welcome back, my dear Lightfuls, to another review of Boku no Hero Academia, aka Boku no Greatness, aka Boku no Goat, aka My Hero Academia. If you're a new viewer to my channel, remember to subscribe to become part of the Lightfuls Army. All right, so when I say Boku no Goat, I don't. It doesn't mean that this is the best series of all time. I I just like saying that in the intro, just in case you're just like, no, My Hero Academia is not that good. Like, we we get it, we get it. Okay, all right, so this chapter is one of the best chapters of my hero academia and definitely my top five Eas easily lead. there's like i i just gotta go back and find chapter there's there's a chapter from my villain academia there's a chapter from this arc and there's probably multiple chapters from my villain academia which i thought were some of the best chapters but to tell you the truth i think this is number one for me now just because the message of this chapter where is you don't have to fight alone, Midoriya. You don't have to be alone. And then the message of what a hero is to Ida, a person who during the Stain arc wanted revenge on Stain because of what happened to his brother, what Stain did to his brother in Genium. And then realizing that, hey, that's not what heroes do. Heroes don't go for revenge. Heroes are not supposed to do that. And he learned that later on in that arc. And Stain even told him, like you're a fake hero which is very impactful because he's a student at the time acting as a hero and you know he's still growing mentally and to be told you're a fake hero when that's your goal in life is very make it makes you think right and Ida is a great character in this series I'm not gonna lie, I have said before when they do the character post, like why is he always in the top five? Which I, I I'm i I'm still with that, right? He's a good character, but he's not that good of a character. He hasn't had like that much of an impact in the story, but it's completely fine, right? Now, Midoriya in this says this fight is between one for all and all for one. You all can't keep up. This is the main reason he doesn't want their help. Because he doesn't want them to get hurt at all. That's why he left UA. That's why he left them letters. He doesn't want that at all. He wants to do everything on his own. He even left All Might behind because he doesn't want All Might to uh, get hurt or injured. This is the same Midoriya. That's, I didn't watch this video, but somebody did say Midoriya is still the same character, which is true. At heart, Midoriya is still the same character. Even... In this chapter, even if Midoriya says, no, I'm not that person anymore, it's a lie. He just doesn't want his friends to get involved, like I said before, which is very interesting. And not only that, Midoriya has a heavy burden upon him. It's his turn. What's his turn to do? Become the number one hero. Be the light of the world. All might is gone. Yes, Endeavor has a, a flame, a rising flame there. But Midoriya is the hero that will have the full flame on the world where people see on TV and say, okay, that's our hope. Right now, a lot of the civilians, they, they don't trust heroes anymore but because of the destruction uh, that happened in the arc prior, right? They don't, they, they're not trusting heroes, a lot of them. A lot of, some of them are still like, yeah, heroes, but a lot of them... Uh, of the civilians, like some of them are even against the heroes. And Midoriya is just having all this to deal with alone, which he doesn't have to, but he he's still in the back of his mind. He's like, I got to be the best, right? Because in the panel on page four and five, he's like, he's just thinking your turn, your turn. No, can't turn, right? He's just thinking, I, I have to be the best version of myself because there's Shigaraki, and there's All for One as well. And, you know, a lot of people downplay My Hero Academia. And to those people, you just have to read the manga. Like, this chapters like these shows Horikoshi's range as a manga. It's not just about battles. It's about the story and the message they entail and the character growth. Seeing Todoroki show this much emotion, say Midoriya, the Todoroki in the beginning of the series didn't trust anybody. And now he deeply cares about his friend, Midoriya, which is just really awesome. And I really like how everybody came together 
and started using all their quirks just to launch Ida so he could launch uh so he could catch up to Minoria and hold his hand. I was like, this is so cool. And even Mineta, a character that I'm not gonna lie, a lot of Western fans don't like for you know obvious reasons. He says, I never thought it was your power that made you awesome. I fell for you when you were scared and sweating buckets and quaking in your boots. Back when we found a path forward together, the way you were back then. He, this is a great line because I mean, that's just like, I don't care that you're powerful, that you have a cool quirk or anything like that. I re, like, I looked up to you because even through all that fear, you still pushed forward. Which is really cool. It, it's just really cool. Now, I did think that Ochako was going to be the one that stopped me, the Rhea. But that that wasn't the case. Uh, it was like a group effort, like I was saying. It, it was really cool, like, how they made, like, um, basically this um, ice bridge thing with tracks so Ida could go through them and get, get boosted up and stuff. Which goes to show you how strong... How fast, well, Midoriya is strong, but how fast Midoriya is that they needed to do all this for Ida to actually catch up to him, which she's a speed hero, basically. Now, the Ida line where he says, that's precisely, precisely why I'm always ready. If there's anything that could bolster Isuko Midoriya, not, it would be to challenge you. Those who share his resolve, those who can match his face. Okay, that's a previous user saying that, but Ida says, because giving help that's not asked for is what makes a true hero, which is true, right? Because, you know, Eri didn't ask for Minoria's help. A lot of civilians don't ask for Minoria's help, and he still helps them. And now, Ida helps Minoria, even though he's not asking for help. And that panel, with Ida grabbing Minoria's hand, and you just see the, the destruction of Minoria's gloves, like he just weary like he's just so tired of it all basically he's just symbolizing the stress that he has and then Midoriya's tears just flowing from his face it, it's just so amazing right and then we get this dialogue but no you can't just let go I will not and Genium the hero will dash across the land to take a lost child by the hand this chapter made me like Ida a lot, a lot more. A lot of people are going to feel the same way from class A to one for all. Like the entire class cares so much about Midoriya that they did all of this just to stop him. Just, just not to stop him, but to save him, to save him, to help him. And uh, somebody said that we don't want you to protect us, right? In the chapter. Meaning like, hey, they're all going to become heroes. There's no need for you to, you know, have that burden all upon yourself. And it was a great chapter. For me, this was a perfect chapter. Perfect chapter. And that's it for now. And peace.